bound only by frozen guys so it's week five fitness challenge progress um, there's a couple of things that I've noticed so this week I did no reading and no breathing and meditating and the major I guess biggest things I've noticed is I started biting my freaking nails again so I can tell that I'm a little more anxious. I, I haven't seen any real difference at work or anything like that. But um, I need to get back on reading my book, my breathing, and meditating. Um, there was a little bit of schedule changing and uh, honestly editing and posting videos and stuff like that. That took away you know my mornings from doing that. But you know, 30 minutes, five minutes breathing. You know, 30 minutes reading, five minutes breathing. Uh, that should be. I should be easily knocked out. I'm just, I was just slacking. Um, I also didn't even um, do a half marathon uh, this past weekend. Um, now, part of that is because for, uh, Saturday was such an epic workout. Um, this is what we did. So 20 pull-ups, 30 push-ups, 40 sit-ups, and 50 squats. So everything was timed. But we had to do that five times before we got out of there. So, I mean, just just, uh, just think about that crap. Uh, the 20 pull-ups, though, I couldn't do them um, the whole time. I did the first round 20 full straight pull-ups. You know, like I said, it's your own pace. So, I, you know, I hung a little bit or I jumped down, I stretched off a little bit, and, and then I went back at it. But for the most part, I think I got like 15 straight and then I kind of like just hung and I actually knocked it out. And then after that, I realized this was going to be a lot harder. So what I did was I went for 10 and then we had these rubber bands hanging from the from the from the handrails. And um, it, it had a little resistance to help you up a little bit. Uh, by the end of it, though, I was I was struggling on even that was so <coughs> the push ups weren't too bad. The sit-ups are what I had a hard time with, um, and the squats were easy. But um, that, that's basically why I didn't do the obstacle course. I mean, uh, the uh, the uh, the marathon. But I did do uh, obstacle training too the next day, and I noticed that fucking workout. Like I, I, I just, I figured, I figured since I was so sore that I wasn't gonna be able to do as much, so I didn't record and, and make a video about that. But I ended up doing some pretty good stuff, even though as tired as I was. But it was mainly to spend time with my little girls. I, and I made a video about that, my little ninjas three. So go check that out if you haven't. Um, now my physique. So as far as the comparisons, I put them in front this time, um, mostly because I want to see if putting my comparisons in the front uh, will change. You know how long people will watch the video or how many views I'll get or whatever. I want to compare the views, honestly. So that's why I did that. I changed it up this week. You know, I don't know if it's me talking about, you know, what's going on or whatever. Whoever is actually interested in that, I appreciate it. And uh, it's really for me anyway. But I hope you enjoy. Uh, but my arms and back, there's definitely more definition. Um, and that's because we're doing more deadlifts, uh, RDLs. Uh, rows, I mean, we're doing a lot of back and, and lower body workouts and then kettlebells with arms. I mean, it's, it's all over the place, honestly. But uh, just this week, oh, sorry about that. Just this week, I've, uh, I've noticed arms and back have more definition. My legs, my quads, my quads are the, are, are the most visible difference. And you could tell from, from week one to week five comparison. Uh, my hams and calves, it's not like you could tell, 
whenever you're, you know, you see the picture of me from my backside, uh, that my hams are bigger or my calves are bigger, but running and squatting and lunging and stuff like that, I could, I feel the difference. Just, I'm just so much stronger in my lower body than I have been probably since the army really. Uh, but so last week I was talking about charge fitness and whether I was in a stay or not. And I am happy to say I am. Excuse me. Got to get to work soon. I'm tired. Waking up at 5.30. But um, I'm happy to say I am. And um, uh, of course, I'm going to take it easy. The the you know first week of March before uh, my first obstacle course race, you know, just stretching, staying limber, resting up, and just getting, you know, just getting a good rest day for my body to develop or rest week, really. But, um... I'll be level one testing because this is, you know, the start of week six. I'll be level one testing this week. And um, I was going to print it out so I could look at it and and go over it. But I was talking with one uh, one of the guys today about it. And basically, it's a lot about form. I mean, yes, they want you to complete the workouts. But they're going to be, you know, you you get three strikes and, and, and you fail. It's more focused on form, and I mean, I, I kind of dig that. It's not about cranking out the reps or whatever um, in the time allotted for whatever workouts that they have in place. But I mean, you even get a strike for, okay, you have five seconds to start the next whatever exercise, stretch, workout, whatever. Um, if you don't get to it in that time, they're going to strike you there. So I mean, you, you got to get to your next workout. You got to begin. It's focusing on 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 uh on form and and then duration it's not about reps so i I thought that was kind of cool way to kind of gauge uh your fitness levels and 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 you know people have failed and you know he's telling me i should pass with with flying colors but i don't ever assume i'm gonna fucking kill anything it's just how i am uh so i'm gonna be reading on it and um i got it i got to do it this saturday so i'm I'm excited. I'll get my level one little 550 cord wristband or whatever they they give out, and I'll get my name on the board for level one. And uh, I'm excited to get to two and uh, maybe even three, uh, hopefully by the end of the year. So I'll look at it more and I'll post more on it. Uh, I I'm not gonna like post the workout or anything like that, but just talk about it uh, once I get done with uh, week six. And uh, I can't wait to see those comparisons. Um, health is wealth, my friends. I salute you. I'm out.